Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to talk about, well, the moon and NASA and Viper and how you can be involved in a bizarre way with uh, one of NASA's projects. Okay, so towards the end of the year, I want to say November is when it's supposed to be on the moon, but NASA is sending something up called VIPER. VIPER stands for Volatiles Investigative Polar Exploration Robot, or rover. And its purpose is to get up there, go around the lunar south pole, and look for water ice. This is to pave the way for the Artemis missions, which will eventually lead to manned bases on the moon. So they have to find the water. Um, and it's going to investigate in an area that is less than ideal. The rover is going to try to survive for, I want to say, around 100 days in some pretty inhospitable climates and lighting situations. Um, so that's the overall mission and what's going on. So how can you be involved in it? Well, if you get them your name by 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time on uh, the Ides of March, March 15th, they will take that information and attach it to the rover. So your name will go into space. Uh, if you want to do it, it's uh, www.nasa.gov slash send dash your dash name dash with dash viper yeah they could have, i'll put the link down below couldn't have made that easy um and the idea behind doing this is obviously to get people interested in space travel that's why nasa is doing it this is something you might want to involve your kids with if you're trying to find something to create a spark, to give them another interest, to get them to look towards the stars or whatever. This is something that's unique. Your name will go into space. And as far as NASA's part and their PR part, what they do is if you go to this link and put in the information, it's really just asking your name. Um, they give you a little digital boarding pass and there's a QR code that you can go and get more information, sign up for more stuff if you want to. But it's definitely a way to kind of kickstart an interest in space and space travel. Um, so it's something interesting that I ran across I thought y'all might enjoy. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.